So I love like creating things with my hands because like it feels like a very beautiful exercise to me. Art conveys a range of feelings, not only for those who view it, but for those who create it. Peaceful. I feel very peaceful. I feel at ease with everything. Making art allows space for deepening connections to culture and ways of life. I love sketching and like being out in the wilderness. I love drawing like stuff like that because I'm Native American and I feel like really connected to everything around me. I am making a floral design because, you know, that's one thing that's big in our Native culture. For youth, Expanding on a passion can be just as easy as picking up a paintbrush. If I were to become an art teacher or something, it was helping me learn more about art, learn what kind of art skills I can work with. I want to become an electrical engineer and a pilot, and I feel like I'm going to like do art pieces like on the side, you know, just because I love and I enjoy it which is why the Missoula Art Museum, Our League Community Development Center, and the National Endowment for the Arts teamed up with local artist Cameron Decker to bring a new program to Our League. I've just noticed in my own just like hopping around between a lot of places that everybody to me seems to be in the right place right now to really support the arts. And everybody that I've talked to wants student art out in public, wants to celebrate our students' talents. Last Friday, the group used paint, black lights, and Decker's inflatable bubble to change the dimensions of creation. I just learned how to make them from an artist in, he's from Kalispell, and his name's Wes Hines. He was just showing us his, his bubbles that he made, and he was telling me how to make them, and just, he, was, he wanted people to make them. He said, go for it. This is just one of the unique art exercises in the two-month-long course. Teens will have the opportunity to see their art hanging on walls in Arli at the end of June. As many pieces as we create, we're going to find sites for them around town. And we hope it's just sort of like a rotating project that we'll be able to do every year here. In Arli, Emily Brown, MTN News.